my other live videos that I've done, I always mention that what we're focused on right now, today, tomorrow, they're already working on three to five years from now. And the only way we're going to disrupt what they're working on three to five years from now is if we stand the fuck up. Everything they're planning is based on us staying home, sitting, relaxing, just following, you know, whatever their orders are. The moment we stand up and rise up, the moment all their plans fall out the window. And that's why I'm so vocal about what the fuck's going on, because I'm trying to stop these future agendas of theirs. And um, somebody asked here, which I'm sure maybe you're, you're going to ask or something you're curious about. It's the second wave, right? We hear Bill Gates talking about the second wave, which, again, is kind of a part of Event 201. Um, I think there's multiple things that go along with the second wave, whether that's the vaccine, the vaccine creating more health issues and a second wave of the virus, because that's what the flu, um, the flu vaccine does. Is it gives people the, the flu year after year. Um, it could be that. It could be the 5G technology that's being rolled out. And that being magnified now, uh, or the EMS being magnified now, because there's an entire grid, an entire like map system of this EMF technology everywhere that now is like hundreds of times stronger than what it previously was. Um, and the second wave, again, could just be them releasing this virus because people need to understand that this virus was created in a lab and it started in two labs here in America. And after they were found to be given money to this lab to create this virus, they were defunded. And then they moved this lab or this, this virus into Wuhan, the third lab in China. So most people don't realize that this was actually being developed and created here in the United States. And then they were caught and then it wasn't aligned, I guess, with the politicians or whoever it may be. And then it was sent over to China because you could pretty much do whatever the fuck you want in China. And then that's yeah. where it was released. Well, that's one place it was released because at the end of the day, this virus was not released in China. It was released worldwide or it was symptomatic of 5G yeah. technology with geoengineering, chemtrails and so on. And that's the reason why so many people were affected by this so fast. Yeah, China doesn't have an FDA. FDA. Yeah, <laughs> and so they know we do. FDA is regulated and paid off. Like, you could pay them off. Yeah, there's a lot of revolving doors there. Um, there's, there's a, you know, Bill Gates was talking on multiple different occasions about uh, how vaccinations are actually an investment with a return on investment of yeah. 20 to one, like 201, event 201. I'm wondering if he there's has, a parallel there. He has over $1 billion invested in, in the vaccinations and big tech and all the pharmaceutical companies. He has over a billion dollars invested in all these different companies and corporations and stuff. He has a huge interest in what is going on. He's also been public about population control. Um, he's been his father was an activist, if you want to say, for population control as well. Um, so it's just it all it's all fitting right there. But the media, the Hollywood, etc. They paint him as a like what does he what does he label himself as like a flamper? Uh, What's the word? Why, why can't I say this word? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> philanthropist. Yeah, philanthropist. He yeah. like, they, they try to paint him like that. But like, he's not wanted in India. He's not wanted in like four or five African countries. Um, like he's literally pretty much not allowed back into those countries because he was sterilizing, sterilizing people. Um, it's just insane that this individual and the people around him are still walking free. Um, I shared the petition. A lot of people did. It's like closer to 600,000 signatures of arresting Bill Gates for crimes against humanity. But this dude just walking free. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts how we're, yeah. we're positioning him. You know, we question mothers who witness their children in an instant becoming a different person because of a vaccination. Yeah. You know, we question them. They're their mothers, for God's sakes. They know that little person is different. And we're, we're placing our blind faith and trust in someone who's not a doctor and can't even get a virus off of a computer. As a matter of fact, he's planting the viruses and then creating the virus software.
-hmm. No different than um, Clorox owns Brita. Did you know that Clorox, who puts the chlorine in the water, also huh. created Brita that takes the chlorine out of the water? Kind of like we put it in, we take it yeah. out. We put it in, we take it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect it's the same thing. business model. The same thing with the oil spills when BP had its oil spill and stuff. The oil companies also own the cleanup company. So now they're getting paid yeah. by the government, by the environment or whatever, paying them to clean up their own mess. So yeah, they get fined a couple million dollars, but they're also getting paid. They're also getting the contracts to clean up the same mess that they created. This gets into problem, reaction, solution. It's what how 9-11, the coronavirus, and everything else and stuff. And it's understanding the system at the end of the day. And it, it gets back to what I talked about in earlier, is stop supporting these corporations, these businesses. And and supporting doesn't just mean just to re or, re or just to re say what I already said is doesn't mean just funding them. It means stop paying attention to them. Stop even watching. Stop paying like liking or whatever the fuck it may be. Stop engaging into their system. That's how you take the power away. It's just like a bully or an abusive ex or whatever it is. You you literally stop engaging with them and you take their power away. And now they have no power over you. That's why I don't vote for any politician because the system does not represent my morals or values or my way of life. I don't care what politician, what puppet is running for office. The system itself does not represent my morals or values. So no matter who you put in that office, you could put me in that office and that system will not allow me to create change. It will not represent my morals and values. I would be assassinated in a fucking heartbeat if I was ever in that position. But just to get the gist of things, like you have to understand the energetic exchange. It's not you, but everybody listening has to understand the energetic exchange of just us paying attention just by us having the TV on and stuff. Energy flows where attention goes. Yeah. 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 Um, it's, it's so off my radar. You know, I used to be able to, you know, in public places hear arguing and hear drama and or gossip happening because it was still on my radar. And until I, I completely eliminated that, um, I stopped paying attention to, it. I, I don't even hear it now. It's just, it's not on my radar. And, and it's true, the things that I watch have completely changed. I was watching Gossip Girls. I was watching shows that kept my attention streaming in that direction. So, yeah, there's there's a whole um, program with the whole Holly weird situation. I feel like a lot of this problem, reaction, solution that in most of uh, the Hollywood movies that we grew up watching, there was a problem and a reaction that has now been pre-programmed our reaction into us and the solution that we've seen so many times, it's now in our mind, it's the only solution, like giving birth at a hospital, it's the only way because of complications. Well, what did we do before that, that rectangle building existed? And okay, so we, we can go down that rabbit hole. But it's it's all pre-programmed, and uh, Hollywood to me is it's also an insult to human intelligence. I, I get the whole I want to just relax my mind and put my feet up. I can I can relate to that. I, I'm personally more of a nature girl, like like yourself, as opposed to like frying my brain kind of deal with um, other people's problems. Like I, I don't need to pay attention to any problems whatsoever, but there's a narrative there and it's a narrative of helplessness and hopelessness and powerlessness and comparison and judgment. And it's just like, I, I, I can't tune into that stuff anymore because it's, um, it, to me, it's, I, I see through it. I'm like, wow, they're literally programming people how to act in situations and what to wear and to all be the same. Like that's, that's what beautiful is. And it's just like, it starts no. with movies. if you watch kid movies all over again, it programs children's mind. Like, especially like all the Cinderella and, and all the movies. 
it's literally teaching women to find a rich man or teaching women to suppress their their emotions or their voice and just let the man do whatever it is like pocahontas most people don't know the real story behind pocahontas is um a 13 i think she was 13 years old and she was held captive by the europeans and they were raping her and stuff and that's the real story about pocahontas but what we see is a whitewash version of that which she was still kind of held captive essentially but they made it look all light and love and then all the other movies all the other movies just program the child's the children's mind to believe a certain way or humanity's a certain way um it starts with a lot of things that's why it's so important to, to remove the television from a child, especially at a young age. Or if you're going to let them watch it, be mindful of what they're watching. Because, like, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z as a cartoon. I learned so much shit from Dragon Ball Z. It was insane. Well, the older I got and I went back and watched it, I'm like, damn, they're talking about chi. They're talking about, like, understanding your anger and your emotions and how to how to protect yourself and all kinds of like crazy lifelong lessons. And I'm like, this is actually a dope cartoon. Um, so there is some anime, I guess you would say, or cartoons out there that have a beautiful message behind it. But a lot of them don't. Like even like Wally. I remember watching Wally with one of my nieces. And um, I'm like, wow, this is programming us to believe that we're going to sit in a chair one day and hit these buttons and sing food's going to come to us and we're just going to be fat little blobs. And then they have like piles of trash everywhere because nobody recycles or clean cleans up. I'm like, if I was a little kid watching this, that shit's programming their minds to believe in that way. Or like women again with like dating a white man or a rich white man or whatever it may be. Because that's like the majority of children or, 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 or those like movies and stuff. Um, yeah, it's just crazy, uh, the amount of subconscious programming on top of like... Subliminal. It's if, totally subliminal. Jimmy Jimmy says, uh, have you guys seen Pinocchio lately? And not lately, but uh, all, all of the Disney movies are absolutely laden with yeah. subliminal messaging. And a lot of that messaging has to do with sex. And... Um, get into that. They have the word sex, they have penises, they have all kinds of stuff, all in the background, all right there, even their nose, their chins, like all kinds of stuff. Yeah. People don't understand yeah. Walt Disney. Um, if you just look at how they spell Walt Disney, there's six, there's six sixes. There's three sixes in Walt and there's three sixes in Disney, 666, and both sides of his name. He's also worked with the FBI and CIA, Walt Disney, to create MKUltra, mind control. He also worked with NASA to create the illusion of the heliocentric model, what everybody thinks we live on and stuff. We're not going to get into that, but I just want to plant that seed. Okay. To just to let people know that Disney created the illusion that you think you live on a spinning ball, just to put that out there. Um, I actually studied Disney. I took advertising once upon a time. It was it was a two year program and I I graduated. It took me three years to complete a two year program because I knew going into it that it, it wasn't for me long term, but I actually kind of liked the information and I'm an artist. So I like creating ads. Um, but I slowly started realizing that what we were doing was actually playing on people's fears, like 100% big time. Mm -hmm. And I had to attend focus groups as a part of this curriculum. And I saw what happened in focus groups when people sat around a table and got vulnerable and shared data and like information about their demographic that was literally like, you know, pointed at a particular product for this demographic, call it makeup, and what women's fears were and how to use those fears to create an urgency to be a consumer, not just once. Yeah. They want to hook you for life, much like the pharmaceutical model. It's like mm -hmm. they don't just want to sell you one bottle once. They, they need lifetime customers. So basically health and the cure is, is not going to be making that rectangle money. And yeah. so that's not good for their business. 
And yeah, it's the, the advertising that is all over. The only thing that we take in more than content is air. Think about that for a second. How many meals can you eat a day? Maybe two, maybe three, a few little snacks here and there. You can probably drink four or five liters of water. You breathe a lot of air because you're breathing every single second. Secondary to air, we take in content more mm -hmm. than ever, more than our parents were subjected to, our grandparents, right? We're, our, we're already dealing with their programs yeah. and all of their pain bodies that they passed on to us generationally. And we're trying to dismantle that and reparent ourselves. And we're trying to do that through the noise, the chaos, the... Um, the loud loudness of what's happening in, in the content that it's, it's absolutely everywhere. Remember when Instagram and Facebook first started, there was no commercials. Look at it now. Ads everywhere. Uh, the ads play a massive role in the subconscious psyche and stuff. Like they, they, they don't even do it just for the products. They do it just to, to upset your psyche. They understand that these advertisements piss you off. They get into your mindset and everything. Um, real quick, I just want to address something real quick here in the comments, talking about we need action, we need plans. I want people to understand that when you raise awareness, that creates change. That is the very first step in creating change. You can never create change if you are not aware of things. The moment you're aware of something, now you have to figure out how to create change. Figure out how to create change. Now, I can hold your hand and tell you how to create change, which I do quite often, but you as a human being, as an individual, should be able to take something, say like pharmacy, pharmaceutical companies, and understand how to create change and not being hooked on pharmacy. It's logical. How do you get off a of pharmacy? You work on your diet, your mental stability, you work on the air that you're breathing, the grounding, the food that you're eating, the chemicals that you're, you're using. It's common fucking sense, people. If you want to create change, use common fucking sense. Address the issue, become aware of an issue, and use common sense to create change. If you don't believe in war, stop funding war. Stop supporting people who are fighting in these wars. And I know that sounds harsh, but it is what it is. If you don't believe in, in pedophilia, stop supporting people who support pedophilia, a.k.a. Hollywood, a.k.a. Um, politicians, a.k.a. religion, if you if it's this, it's common fucking sense. If there is an issue that you want to stop, become aware of it and think logically how to stop it. So here we go. 5G is a perfect example because this is one of the individuals that was bringing it up. If you are afraid or don't want to be in 5G, there's things called organite. And I have about 30 pieces all in my office, all different types of organite, oh, literally cool. everywhere in my office, on my net. Organ wow. helps with 5G. What also helps with 5G is turning your phone off, putting it in airplane mode, making sure your Wi-Fi router is turned off, your computer is turned off. I have all this information for you guys in my story highlights. Um, grounding yourself, getting out to nature, earthing, all kinds of things help with 5G. I mean, it just the list I'd goes like to on. Add something. From a nutrition point of view, I'd like to add something. Um, because 5G, G, it zaps our oxygen, and then mm -hmm. we need to spend minerals in order to replenish. So putting a pinch of sea salt, that's not table salt, that's sea salt or pink Himalayan rock salt in your water, just a two-finger pinch in your water, because salt is the original form of electrolyte. That is that is what an electrolyte is. And so you're bringing the electricity back to the body when you're putting sea salt in your water so it dissolves it's 100 percent bioavailable i don't really put much salt in my food but i drink salt water because think about it we are walking columns of ocean water we're not lake water we're ocean water if you don't believe me taste your tear your sweat we're salty we're salt water beings and we're losing our electricity we're losing our energy yeah, even being steam, back, I don't want to get dirty here, but like it tastes like that at the end of the day. Um, and it, yeah. you're right, like again, minerals, you mentioned minerals and vitamins. Every supplement I rep, like this Shilajit right here, this is giving I'm drinking you all it right now. 
Are you drinking Schillinger right now? Yes. Nice. Yes. I, yeah. Total or, shout, shout out for Symbiotica. Yeah. yeah. You, Best ever. I, Symbiotica and pure Schillinger. I rep him because he understands the shape of the earth. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like you have all these different minerals and like uh, sea moss and, and even just being plant based helps dramatically. But you also have to understand that the water and soils have been depleted of minerals and vitamins. That's why we are using supplements to help with all this stuff. Um, supplements. So that's what you're drinking. He's drinking Shilajit. I'm drinking water. And in my water, it says, I am love, gratitude, and abundance. So I'm reprogramming my water. That. It also has organite on the bottom of it. So the badass and it's glass. Always. Always. Dr. Emoto, he's the best ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's that right there is structured water, right? When when you put the vibration of what you are, and we forget about what we are not, we don't put our focus there. It's like, I am this, I am that, that you're you're restructuring the water and at a DNA level, our DNA is protected by 10 layers of noble water. That ain't no tap water, right? Yeah. We, we don't drink tap water. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. So anybody asking third eye organ, the same person that I get my, um, my, organ, my organ from, you could check it in my story highlights. He also makes this. This is also a very powerful rope. This is something that you can use in any survival situation as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's let let's try to I don't want to go another hour because my phone's going to die and I have another live video after this live video. So I could do like maybe another let's do let's end it at two at 45. I know it's 245 for me. So whatever that is for you. Okay. But let's just you... go down your list and I'll try to answer as many questions as as I can as fast as possible. You be the timekeeper. I'm going to put that in your I hands. Love... my friend. Okay. Very cool. Um, so freedom of speech is so first of all, I just when, uh, when we talk about the government, um, the government doesn't have rights, I just want to put that out there for everybody. It's nowhere in the Constitution that the government has rights. We the people, we the, uh, you know, the uh, I, I don't even want to call myself a citizen. I'm, I'm a living being. We have God-given rights, yes. and that's what the Constitution in, uh, ensures. Yes. So the government has privileges, temporary trusts, in mm -hmm. order to ensure that my God-given rights are, are um, played out. And so a lot of people think the government has power over us and that they give us freedom. And I just want to say, like, we're the ones that that give them power by giving our consent, right? So it's just like removing your consent and removing your participation in that. I think you mentioned something about the, the whole voting thing. And it's like, the system isn't broken. It was built that way. So just like completely stop participating in it. If they want to make you wait in line with a face mask, then you just, you refuse to do that. It's like, mm -hmm. you don't have to participate yeah. in that that whole thing. Um, so, you know, there's right now, there's a big push on um, masks and gloves. And I'm seeing civilians um, kind of turning on each other, which really saddens my heart, to be quite honest, because I, I know my rights. And I'm a living being. And I understand there's a difference between um, the, the law, right? And um, what's enforced on us so it's just like how do you in regards to this disinformation that's being bombarded to us how do you ensure that people discern from um, truth from fiction especially in regards to something when it comes to like you know it's it's our health and we're we're freaked out if we if we wear a mask or if we don't wear a mask and I'm not wearing a mask, I don't care what people think of me, but some people will literally wear a mask because they don't want to be ostracized by mm -hmm. the maskers, right? It's like, I, I don't identify with any of that. So 
what's your whole take on that? And what could you say to those people about um, discerning and the amount of disinformation that's coming down the pipeline? Yeah, I think somebody said it here. That that's the problem that people don't know their rights. And that's where it where it lies people are taught or not even taught people are somehow programmed to think that the government gives us our rights and that's not how the government works and you went over that perfectly the government um pretty much like limits our rights if you want to say by us giving consent to their authority over us but the moment you don't give them authority over you they have no legislation, they have no like regulation over you as a natural human being. Like you were saying, you don't wanna call yourself a citizen. Because the moment you call your citizen is you are giving yourself or you're giving them power over the corporate title onto you, which is your social security number um, or your birth certificate as well. When you understand that you're a natural human being of this earth and so if they hold no power over you the only hold power over you is if you give them authority over you and that's pretty much just knowing who you are the individual which we talked about before and knowing your rights at the end of the day and the moment you know your rights and you can actually communicate that with somebody else then you know you're you're the definition of true freedom if you want to say a dangerous yeah. level of true freedom. Okay, I, I got, would advise people- We got five minutes. Literally read off those questions. Okay, cool. Um, no, I, I would just urge people to look up the difference between law and legislation if that's a rabbit hole one so chooses to do. Mm -hmm. um, let me see here. I think we covered quite a bit. Um, just quickly, I don't know if we can cover this in five minutes, but the, um, the whole cashless society and what, what that really means if cash becomes crypto across the board, like one world. I mean, essentially what that is, it's, it's a lot of people are painting this to be a lot bigger than what it is. 99% of money already is, is uh, crypto, is cashless. They don't have enough physical money to give everybody their money at the end of the day. All that is is saying is that they're going to control all the different monetary systems now under one system, the, the new digital system. They already are now they officially control all money. If, if the dude in North Korea is dead or what, I, I don't even know what happened with that, honestly. I haven't looked any further into it. But essentially, North Korea, Iran and Cuba were the last three countries that were not under a private banking system or they they had their own private banking. They were not under the Rothschild, the fiat currency and so on. Um, Cuba obviously is now working with the United States. Iran, we have been bombing Iran constantly through this whole Corona shit. And then with North Korea, I believe he was, had an assassination attempt on his life or whatever it was. Essentially, the digital currency will be that, hey, we now run all the banking systems throughout the world, and this is our currency. And that's what it will be in short. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm going to continue embracing all the things, be the change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just um, you know, being more conscious of my own reaction to it and not feeding into it to too much, but uh, staying informed. I w really would love to do this with he you again sometime. For sure, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to do as many live videos as I can. I try to do them Monday through Thursday. I leave Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to myself. I just don't want to participate in that Monday through Friday lifestyle, even if it's on social media. But we'll definitely align another day and, and do this again. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me as well. And I appreciate you and everything you talked about today. We'll talk soon. Uh, likewise. Okay. Take care. You too. Bye, everybody. Peace. Bye.